Our last section is on the coefficient of determination. The coefficient of determination is denoted by R squared. We first compute the sample correlation coefficient R using the procedure from section 4.1. Then simply compute R squared, the sample coefficient of determination. As an interpretation, the value R squared is the ratio of explained variation over total variation. That is, R squared is the fractional amount of total variation in Y that can be explained by using the linear model Y hat equals A plus BX. Further interpretation suggests that 1 minus R squared is the fractional amount of total variation in Y that is unexplained variation due to random chance or to the possibility of lurking variables that influence Y. From a visual perspective, the two circles on the top show a slightly correlated variable. The orange part in the middle is the shared or explained variant. The picture on the bottom, there's a lot more overlap. So these are highly correlated variables. So there's a higher quantity of shared or explained variants. Prep work number three is looking at the CEO versus the CEO salary versus the company revenue. So prep work number one, two, three, and four use the same initial data. For number three, you need to compute the sample correlation coefficient R, compute the coefficient of determination, and give a brief explanation of the meaning of the coefficient of determination in the context of this problem. At this point, I'd like you to pause and give this problem a try on your own. And whenever you're ready to see the solution, go ahead to the next slide. And here's the solution for prep work number three. 